Now we're going to mount the already assembled AttaCube stack into the sample space. In the sample space, we've already mounted the spacer and the adapter plate and removed the thermal clamps. First, we'll add some end grease to the adapter plate. We'll add the flex link, being careful not to clip the wires. We'll secure the flex link to the adapter plate with four and three by six brass slotted screws with Belleville washers. And as you're tightening the screws, you wanna be aware of the flex link and the wires. Because we have res stages here, they have wires hardwired into the stage made of copper, but because copper has high thermal conductivity, we're going to use phosphor bronze wiring harnesses to thermally lag between the 40K stage and the 4K stage. When you plug in the res stages, you want to be consistent with pin one. Um, so the red dot should be plugged into the red wire on the wiring harness. And then the red dot on the three pin connector goes in next. On the open loop stages, you just have a phosphor bronze wiring harness, so it's a little bit easier, but you still wanna keep pin one consistent. So the red pin goes to pin one. And when you're wiring, it's a little bit tricky because you don't want anything to touch. So what I first do is I take and I plug in the pins to the back connectors. Again, um, pin one is red and that goes to pin one and pin one has a little white circle. So it's the innermost pins. So I'm gonna hook up the two X stages to the X2 and the Y2, and then the Z stage to the Z2 user connector. And now I'm going to plug in the sample thermometer to the sample therm port, and that's symmetric, so it can go either way. And I'm gonna route the wires underneath the circuit board for wire management. And you can use tweezers also. And then there's these hooks here that you can also route the wires through. Then I'm gonna add the thermal clamps when you put them on, you'll want to make sure that the wires don't overlap and you want to make sure that it's not very tight because then you could short the wires. And then we'll want to manage the wire within the sample space, at least preliminarily, since we don't want it to touch the radiation shield and induce a heat load. Once we've installed the wiring harnesses and reinstalled the thermal clamps, we'll run the positioners their full range to make sure that the wires don't get caught between the stages and the wires don't touch the flex link. <laughs> 